Semi-finals, $100,000. Not bad. How are you feeling? No, I mean, the feeling is great. Played a good match and hope I can play this, like this tomorrow and we we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll go through the final. What did you do right today to beat Rajiv Ram, second seed? Uh, I, was, I was playing smart. I was serving well. Um, mixing it up a lot for my serve and uh, I was returning quite well. He was struggling with the serve and I made three bags and I think that was the that was the key for the match. Everybody says the high altitude can be a challenge but it seems as if this is your baby. Uh, yeah, I, mean, I played a few, few, few tournaments on the altitude it's, and I always played well, you know, everybody, a lot of players when they come here they struggle a lot but it seems like I'm not struggling that much, maybe less than them so maybe Maybe that's the advantage that I have here on the attitude. Let's uh, just look uh, at uh, you as a, a private person. What what happens to Marty when he's not playing tennis? What do you do? What when do you I'm like to do? When I'm not playing tennis, I don't know. You know I'm, when I'm not at home, I'm just traveling, playing tournaments, playing tennis. So when I'm at home, when I'm not playing tennis, I just. Not doing much, maybe playing some football, and I like to stay at home, you know, with the family because I'm not, I'm not at home that much. So not much that I do except tennis. <laughs> you like football? Tell me about your uh, football. You know, which is your favorite team? Yeah, I like any football. any uh, specific players? Yes, I like. Um, my favorite team is Juventus. I support Juventus, and my favorite player is Del Piero. Del Piero. Yes. Let's go back to Croatia. Tennis has been an unbelievable sport for Croatia. Very successful. I know soccer's number one there, but they really produce some good players ever since Goran has uh, made a big impact. What, is, what has happened there? Why is all of a sudden we getting so many good players coming out of Croatia? Well, I don't know. It's like maybe a tradition, you know. We had a lot of players, but year by the year we're having less and less players, you know, after Goran and Ancic now, maybe Cilic, we don't have that much players, and tennis is, I would say, it's dropping a lot in in Croatia, you know, federation is not that well, not doing a good job and the only good players that are coming, it's more private, you know, with the family and, you know, like father is coach or something, so it's, I think at the moment it could be better than it is. Very interesting, since everything settled in Croatia after some very serious years of war and turmoil and everything, Everybody says it's a beautiful destination and South Africans rate it as one of their top five spots. Is Croatia as beautiful as everybody speaks about? Uh, I think it is. In summer it's it's great, it's unbelievable and I should I could say to everybody to come in the summer to Croatia. Not in the winter, but in the summer it's really good. It's good. Okay, just lastly, Goran obviously had a big impact on, yeah. on your life and on tennis um, in Croatia and around the world. Tell us a bit about Goran and, and, and if he showed any interest in you as a junior coming through? No, no, he did. He, he helped me a lot. He's helping not only to me, to also the other players, the other juniors that are coming. He, he's really trying a lot. And I think it's it's good for the that somebody like that is trying, you know, and helping to us. It's not so many people doing that at the moment. And I think it's great, yeah. You know, a junior player will look at you and say, I play tennis just like Marty and all of a sudden he's now playing on the ATP Tour. Not everybody can do what you do. Go through the juniors, play seniors, now get to the semis of, a, of 100,000. What is your message to a junior player that wants to, to be a pro player? What do they have to do right to be a pro player? I think it's, it's really tough to get from the, from the juniors to the seniors, you know. That step to do, it's really, it's really hard and it needs some time, you know. And, Maybe they're not some people. They're not really patient. You have to work really hard, and sometimes it won't come just that easy. You know, you have to really work hard, and it takes some time. And if you work hard, I think you can get there.